part of the nature of inspiration is that it sort of comes out of nowhere, you know? Like, you can't really create a set of circumstances wherein you get inspired. Sometimes I get really inspired on the road, and other times I spend weeks at a time just watching infomercials until 5 a.m. I saw, recently saw the Dirty Three at Primavera in Spain, and that was, I was completely, I, when I was watching them, I wasn't as, uh, like, at a music festival. I didn't feel like I was at a, I felt like I was having a, an interaction with the band, which is, like, what a good live show does. It takes you out of wherever you are, like, uh, the environs disappear. It's just like watching Warren Ellis on stage. I mean, that guy is a miracle on stage. He's like this dervish, imp, like, hellion beast. Um, and that's, I mean, that's so rare. I feel like um, showmanship maybe isn't really in the zeitgeist right now or something. Like, there's, because he's an older dude. I mean, and he's just, like, sweeping the floor with kids who are like, standing up there at a laptop, you know. And that, while that's may, maybe beautiful music, like, there's a certain type of music and a certain attitude about performance in the live music setting that's really visceral and really, like, I mean, I respond to that. And I think that happened with, like, Big Boy, too, recently in Canada, in uh, Ottawa. I was like a moth to a flame. Like, I never am at the front of the stage, and I was just standing there agape like he was really inspiring just like the dude's swagger and, and just like his sense of humor uh he was just really effortless and that was like that's also kind of an, a non-musical thing that, that can be really inspired like that that non-musical element is like really inspiring in the live setting um like the ease with which he moved the show along is amazing <laughs>